All right, book reviews today. So it's 1246 p.m. It is Tuesday afternoon. So 2021's The Marvel Art of George Perez. Hardcover. There is that. So we're going to run through this. This is about two, yeah, 224 pages. Cover to cover. We're going to do this. This is an easy one, too. This covers his entire career. So, something for you to check out. There's your table of contents. <sighs> I didn't even know who the hell this dude was until I came up on the end of the book. <laughs> yeah. Lots of awesomeness in this book. Y'all want to look at his earlier stuff? No, nah, not really. Not my deal. Not my thing. But I do enjoy his style. I must ask you again. Why? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. <laughs> So yeah, there's a lot of sp there's a couple spreads through here, but there's a lot of di it's a lot of good mix mixed mesh art throughout and watching him evolve. But yeah, do I like this book? Eh, it's okay. It's not something I need in my collection. It's not something that inspires me. It's not something that, you know, jumps out and, hey, you should buy this. Like, no, I'm oh, good. But maybe you like this kind of thing, honestly. I don't know. Um, how did I come across George Perez? I came across him in JLA Avengers, actually. Yep. That's how, that was my introduction to his ass. Was through that. Yeah. I mean, his facial work is kind of weird. <laughs> Not gonna lie. And as I looked through this book before, I was thinking, man, they're going to PC the fuck out of this. She'll be called the cat or the heck cat. Because hell's a bad word. Can't have that around children. <laughs> Can't do that. That's offensive. And there are quotes throughout this book from various other artists and writers that have been inspired by his works through the years. Uh, yeah. I don't know, all, every time I look at this work, all his faces look like Wolverine. <laughs> Literally. That's just how... It, like, everything looks like Wolverine to me. Just by the faces. Like, it's funny. <clears throat> no. I mean, seriously, look. There's Beast. He looks like Wolverine. <laughs> it's funny.
Would I recommend this to you and friends? Definitely. I mean, if you are one of those diehards that needs everything Marvel in your collection, you ain't got this book, you should get it. You'll have a great time reading it and basking in Perez's glory. Me, I'll be sending this back to the library once I'm done with it. <laughs> Pretty snow though. Surprised it didn't work on Sin City. And some of this stuff for Black Widow is in the Black Widow guidebook I covered on my channel as well, if you want to check that out too. So yeah. cool. I like that castle. Uh, oh, the Infinity Saga. How watered down it is in film. <laughs> That's cool. That reminds me of Mumra. Black and white and colors. See, even Cap looks like Wolverine. <laughs> it's just so telling. That's what's so funny about that shit. <sighs> Maestro. I hope they never adapt that story. There's a lot of stories I hope they never adapt to fucking MCU. Because Jesus Christ, they really fucked up a lot of shit. Yeah. That'd just be so dumb to see. I do like this. This is one of my favorite two page spreads in this book. Everything in Meister's collection that he took from everybody he took, he destroyed and killed. Hmm. I still haven't read that story yet, though. I'll get around to it somehow. Wow, he's a skinny beast. Damn. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And the black and whites for it. Ooh, Medusa. Naked? You can't see that. Mm-mm-mm. Fuck it, I don't give a shit. But you'd never see that shit on the screen. Wouldn't see this. I don't know. Yeah, because we're in the PC era. Yeah. Fucking stupid. But what do I like about George Perez's work? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I like his style, I guess. I mean, I can't, I don't know. It's hard to really say what I like the most. The only thing I like of his is JLA Avengers. That was good. That was a great fucking crossover that I read. Um, Jesus Christ, when was that? Oh, sometime last decade. I forget when, but it was cool. Look, Aquaman. Wow. Headshots. 
more headshots. <laughs> <sighs> he does have a very distinctive style, but I don't know, it's like he didn't evolve it, which is kind of sad, but you know, whatever, shit happens. Some artists don't want to budge from their style and whatnot, I wouldn't see that in movies. <laughs> style to me is kind of antiquated like it's just it's a product of its time and it's a product of you know his style and his time uh, yeah. I, I mean styles are not for everybody it, it depends you know everybody has a preferred artist they enjoy doing cover work or story work. Uh, is Perez in my top ten? No, he's not. <laughs> what? Let's rap with cap. Socket to shellhead. Single file. Hold on. I'm gonna turn the damn book. The Hammer Strikes, Avengers Assemble. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. I do like that kid. That's pretty dope. Oh, wow. That's a cool watch. A Jarvis head and proud of it. <laughs> Face the... Bushes in danger. Okay. <laughs> Pretty cool. And a little bit of text. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I do like the collage setups. Though. Those are very interesting. That's a lot of ink. Uh, penciling, inking. <laughs> Especially inking. You wonder, and you wonder why a lot of artists are straight digital now, because ink is expensive. <laughs> Holy shit, is it expensive. <laughs> Wolverine! See, fucking Wolverine, man. It's not these, man. It's fucking Wolverine. <laughs> Ultra. <clears throat> oh, Age of Ultron. <laughs> Damn shame that shit got watered down. <laughs> Ah, uh, so crazy. We're almost done. That's the cool part. I didn't even realize we were over the halfway mark. <laughs> That's how fast these books go because they don't I don't waste time. Disassembled. Did I read disassembled? I'm trying to think. I think I did. But that was like 17 years ago. Oh, Jesus. No, I don't even know. Alright. 
the ultimate crossover. I did enjoy this. This was one of my favorite stories, like I mentioned before. But the one thing I love about crossovers is that they neglect one of the most major plot points in any crossover. If one person goes into another universe, can they even fucking breathe their air? <laughs> like, can they do that? Is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh yeah, magically they can. It's just funny to me. Yeah. Would I love to see JLA Avengers adapted into a film? Yeah, I would. Animated, not live action. Fuck that. No, oh no. Christ, no. Oh, that would take longer. This was a cool fight. Batman versus Captain America. Like, the whole meetup was awesome. And I loved it. Like, it was just so good. I'm like, ah, oh, I wish there was more to it. But then it was just a fucking stalemate. Oh, you fucking idiot. I know that shit would make a lot of motherfuckers mad. Especially today, it would make them mad as hell. But I actually like this. Like, that is one of my favorite pictures. I love that a lot. But yeah, if that happened today, that would piss so many people off. Superman can't wield Thor's hammer. That's impossible. Why isn't it Henry Cavill? <laughs> you know the arguments. You've been on Twitter. <laughs> and, and other comic book sections as well. On social media. Hey! Twat. Well done. <sighs> Spidey! There's the real Wolverine. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. It's a good book. It's a great, you know, uh, culmination of his legacy and shit. I like that. But, I don't know. If they ever adapted anything he worked on, it would be dog shit. Literally. It just, it would be. Yeah. And then, of course, you got the bibliography for... All the artwork and stuff, left to right, top to bottom. So, I won't go over all that, because that's too much. <laughs> you want the pictures. It's your afterword. And the last page. And that bullshit. And the back of the book. And then that stuff. And yeah, it's a library book. So, I'll be back with more. Stay tuned.